Well, tonight we're just eight days away from the primary election in several Ohio counties and soon lawmakers are expected to introduce sweeping changes to Ohio's election laws. And Tyler Paley is breaking down tonight for us what this could mean for all of us. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose has touted the state's elections as some of the most accessible and secure in the country. But now there's a bill making its way through the state legislature that would make major changes if passed. This bill makes it easier to vote in Ohio, but also harder to cheat in Ohio. This bill takes what is already the best set of elections laws in the country and makes them even better. One of the changes also has to do with drop boxes. If the bill were to pass as is right now, each board of elections would be allowed to have up to three drop boxes located outside of their offices, but nowhere else in the county. This is one where I leave it up to the legislature to, to, to make the decision. Uh, I've said before that I'm supportive of an expansion of that beyond that, if that's what they want to do, as long as it's done with the right kind of controls in place. Right now, however, the bill does not address drop boxes being placed at other county locations where they would be easily accessible to more voters. Other changes include allowing the BMV to electronically register voters and allowing voters to request absentee ballots online rather than using a paper form. It would also eliminate voting on the Monday before Election Day, reallocating those six hours to other days. The bill would push the absentee request deadline to 10 days before the election and would change acceptable forms of voter identification. Some Democrats and other critics argue the bill amounts to voter suppression, but Republicans say it's a necessary step to secure our votes. Reporting in Bowling Green, Tyler Paley, WTOL 11. It's unclear exactly when the bill will be introduced into the legislature. Right now, we are told it is being finalized and should see some action soon. Well, we are just over a week away from Election Day in Ohio and Michigan. Early voting is underway in Ohio for next Tuesday's primary. There are not any local issues in Lucas County, but schools like Tecumseh, Genoa, Tiffin, Bedford, and Eastwood do have a levy or other tax-related issue on the ballot. Head over to WTOL.com for the full list of issues and candidates on your ballot.